Hello everyone, this is Adam Block and I'm here to highlight yet another feature of WBPP. This one was developed by request and it was done by uh, Roberto Sartori who did a great job um, making this kind of happen. So WBPP now has the ability to do two different things depending upon if you're calibrating data or if you're combining the data, you know, registering, combining. So you can do two different ways of handling that information. And I'd like to demonstrate what that is all about. So I'm going to load some data. The easiest thing to demonstrate this is to load data that comes from uh, a multi-night set. And so this is actually the same set of data that I highlighted in a previous video. It's, it hopefully will look familiar to you. Um, so let me just open up these files here. So those were the those were the darks and everything, and then I have the data itself, darks and biases, but here's the data across many nights that can be grouped together. And if you recall from the previous data set, um, it could be grouped by night because I happen to have done this by files. You can also do this by putting the data in different directories in order to um, associate them with keywords. The keywords that I made are actually in the file names. I'll just show that to you here. I have uh, an object and then I have my keyword is called session and after session I have some value here and the value is uh, October 15th, October 20th, October 23rd and so on and they are being um, grouped according to that because I have a grouping keyword here called session. If I remove that keyword, uh, we get, you know, ungrouped. All it's going to be grouped by is filter. So we have all the different nights all together here. So the idea is that for purposes of, I think I spelled that right, for purposes of calibration, we want to group this according to night because I need my flats taken on a particular night to be applied to the lights that were taken on that same night. That's why this grouping is going to be so useful to me. Now, I'm going to spend a moment and take care of some of these uh, little warnings that have to deal with the fact that some of my data, not all of it, but some of it um, I have to use optimize. And in general, uh, do, you know, you don't necessarily want to do that unless you kind of have an expectation of what you're going to get. Give me one more. So I've now set up all the data, so it actually, if I press the button, it'll go calibrate everything properly and correctly. Now, a s calibration is one thing, but then you might want to go beyond calibration, right? Uh, we might want to do the uh, registration of the images, as well as the you know ultimate combining uh, image integration of these images. Now, the parameters I'm just going to leave as auto here. So I'm not going to worry about that. And I'm going to leave the registration as auto. I will explain the other cool thing that you can do with the grouping with regards to registration in just a moment. But I'm going to let it pick. I'm going to let everything be automatic here. Because what I want to highlight is this other thing. Uh, so far, we've been talking about the pre-process view, which is what we're seeing here. This is the grouping. This is how everything will unfold for calibration. But for the post-process, watch this cool. You see, in the previous version of WBPP, when you ultimately aligned and combined all of this information, it would still remain grouped. So in this case, I have, I don't know how many nights here, I have five or six nights of data. And so each of those nights would have their own integrated files of blues and reds and greens and luminances and, and so on. And then I would need to somehow combine all of those because they were all grouped in uh, different master lights, if you will. But now the default is not to group by um, anything unless you tell it. So in this case, I will calibrate according to the grouping scheme that we just set up. But then for integration purposes, they are now all together. So you would want to, in this case, combine all of the luminance data across all of the nights. And you'd like to combine all of the hydrogen alpha data across all of the nights. So that's what this is showing. It is showing you how you would be combining all of the data. And right now we are not in any way distinguishing from one uh, light frame at, in a particular filter from any other. They will, all of the clears will be combined. All of the red data will be combined. So I will only end up with one, two, three, four, five uh, combined 
image integrated light frames. It calls them master lights. But if I wanted the old behavior, I can do that as well. Over here, we can control what a keyword does. Now, in this case, I'm using the same keyword. It can be used in both the pre-processing, the post-processing, or not at all. It can be used in either. So uh, I can just press the, the, the uh, keyword here, and this will allow me to cycle through um, which you know, method I want it to be. And I'm going to say, let's have it be the post method here. And now you'll find that, oh my goodness, look at that. Now we have all of these data that are going to be grouped. This is how the old method would have been, uh, grouped together because there's a green, a set of greens, four frames on this particular night, I would have had a master frame for each of these. And that would have been crazy. That's not what I wanted. Um, however, notice that I'm only doing posts now. So the lights are no longer grouped uh, for the calibration purposes. I actually want, if I want the old behavior, I would want this to be both. Now I'm grouping here by this keyword. So this is going to be grouped by night, just as I said, and the output is also going to be grouped. So this is the old behavior here. The pre-process is grouped and the output is still grouped, but that actually isn't the way you would do a multi-night. So let me put this in the proper multi-night way. We want to group by calibration keyword here. So I'm going to just press the button. So grouping by calibration is the pre-process and the post-process. I don't want anything grouped at all. But there are other configurations where you may want to group differently for post. And one of the more uh, common ones is if you're doing a mosaic, because if you're doing a mosaic, then it might matter not just the night, but it also might matter which panel you're talking about. So if you're grouping by panels, then um, having that keyword control the post image integration will be important.